Introduction. Predecessors of the photographic camera were both the camera obscura and the pinhole camera go back to the ancient Greeks and Chinese. Chinese philosopher Mazi was the first to write the principles of the camera obscura. A camera obscura is a natural optical phenomenon where an image on one side of a wall or screen is projected through a hole onto a surface opposite from the opening. The result is an upside down projection. The first portable camera was made by Joanne Zahn in 1685, and after that, not much progress was made in camera development for 130 years. The Science and Technology of the Camera Due to science and technology, the transformation of the camera has allowed photography and film to become easily accessible and one of the most important inventions in history. The simple technology of an old film camera has three elements to it. An optical element, which is a lens, which is a curved piece of glass or plastic, which takes the beams of light bouncing off an object and redirects them so they can come together to form an image. A chemical element, which is a film. When exposed to light, the collection of light-sensitive grains undergo a chemical reaction that records a pattern of light. Then a mechanical element, which is a camera body itself. It is used to keep the film in darkness until it's time to take the picture. This is important because a clear image cannot be taken unless you control the light that is taken in by the film. How it all comes together. For the film camera, you have to press the button which operates the shutter and allows the hole in front to open and expose light to the lens, which the chemicals react to and store the picture in the film. From there, you would take your film to a drugstore with a chemist who would develop your pictures within a few days. Now we have digital cameras and the digital camera has solved many of the inconveniences with film cameras. Instead of using film, a digital camera has an electronic sensor, usually a CCD or a CMOS. These sensors allow light from the image to go through the lens and breaks it into a million pixels. The sensor then categorizes each pixel by color and brightness and forms it into a number sequence. So each image has an extremely long detailed number sequence that describes all the pixels used within your picture. And with all of these advances, we can finally have our pictures within seconds, and they're ready to download, export, and edit whenever we please. Engineering and Mathematics of the Camera Engineering comes into play with cameras from its design, to the material used for its durability, to the mechanical design of it, to the process in which it will go through to take a picture, and lastly, the electrical components inside of it. Also, engineering is used for programming cameras to command the menu to do other operations, including capturing images at desired distances, like zooming in or out. Mathematicians have developed geometric and algebraic equations that tell us exactly where things come into focus on a camera. This is called the depth of field. Outside that region, objects appear blurry. When a point on an image is out of focus, it grows into a blurry circle known as the circle of confusion, which is when the mathematical equations are used to code and program the camera lens into focus. STEAM, Arts of the Camera. Many artists love using cameras in their art. The reason for this is there's a variety of cameras. Therefore, there are different forms of art. Like a painting, a photograph has the ability to move and inspire viewers that would get them engaged in one's art. An example of this is a 1950s picture of a man and a woman kissing near Paris City Hall, and it is now a symbolization of romance. At first, photography only seemed to be a scientific tool. In, in fact, earliest photographers considered themselves scientists, not artists, because it didn't look like art. The ever-changing capabilities of the camera. Then, the first camera was sold with the film already inside, which caused the consumer to have to send the entire unit to the camera company to get their pictures developed. But now, Thanks to digital technology, you can view your pictures and videos instantaneously with the push of a button using multifunctional smartphones. The Brownie was the smallest camera available to customers to carry along with them. With the dimensions of 115 millimeters deep from back to front of the lens hood, 95 millimeters wide, including the winding knob, 
100 millimeters tall from the bottom to the top of the latch, not including the handle. The Mini Spy hidden camera is today's smallest camera. It's a portable small HD camera with night vision and motion detection. Its capabilities are endless, but its primary use is to be a nanny camera. It's an indoor covert security camera for your home, office, and etc. with the dimensions of 0.87 inches weighing 0.7 ounces cube. This picture shows the timeline of the camera. Back then, exposure time was eight hours for only one photo. Now, the smartphones take 100 plus photos in just one minute. When it comes to the culture of our society, cameras are a very important factor in our everyday lives. With the growing popularity of selfies, video chats, YouTube, photography, and social media platforms like Instagram and Snapchat, cameras are a significant part of our current generation, and the things we use cameras for only increases with time. To get some more information about cameras, we decided to go to Best Buy, so here's what we learned from an employee. And so, um, there's no such thing as a, a perfect camera. Uh, each one of them performs for different things that you need. But just an overall umbrella, we do have our SLR cameras, which are the ones that you see like at sporting events, like the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. They're the bulky ones. And uh, those have an advantage over the competition, which are the mirrorless cameras created by Sony. Mm -hmm. um, they out of focus better. So if you have a subject that's moving, it'll track it better. Uh, in terms of the mirrorless cameras, they are missing the mirror component of an SLR, hence the mirrorless. Mm -hmm. uh, they receive the light directly into the sensor, yeah. so they perform better in low light conditions. Okay. Uh, so if you like to do in things like street photography at night, mm -hmm. uh, a mirrorless camera. So that's mainly what it focuses on? Usually is yeah. what... Uh, and like those I, are just for like pretty much everything. Yeah, like for right. photography. Yeah. Um, in terms of video, mirrorless do perform a little better. Mm -hmm. But again, this is a very broad statement. It goes yeah. from camera to camera. Currently, the demand for home security has increased, and cameras are now in high demand to easily have video access to our homes. At Best Buy, we also talked to an employee about the new Google Nest cameras and why they're the best, newest home security camera on the market. Cameras, the best cameras. The Nest cameras are the best cameras when it comes to home security uh, because of the major ecosystem that it gives. So I have a lot of cameras that do the same thing as the Nest, um, but the major difference, these are a lot of cameras, these are the Nest, um, but, the, but the major difference between them is that Nest has a whole home ecosystem when it comes to home security. So they also have something like this, and they also have um, the doorbell and things like that to where it gives you a one app convenience to when it comes to uh, actual home security. You're not opening a bunch of different things, older customers don't like that. Um, um, and so it's just much easier to use. Uh, a lot of cameras do the same thing. Google always gives you great build quality no matter what, um, and that's amazing. Uh, but another thing is the whole home ecosystem. A lot of these little cameras don't offer other things, so you're opening up a lot of different apps. Because of camera technology, we are able to do so much more than we ever could when it comes to home security. Cameras in law enforcement have grown due to the police officers now using body cameras to make sure all arrests and altercations are handled thoroughly. The importance of these body cameras have grown due to the controversy of police brutality and the public. Having these cameras are critical to making sure that all interactions are recorded for any future evidence. With the rapid use of technology, cameras in the classroom and education have begun to increase. Students can now use iPads to take pictures of their work and upload it to their class portal, making it easier for teachers to grade. Teachers also use projectors and smart boards to teach lessons and show examples of pictures and work. And in the high school level, students can use their cameras to document experiences in and outside of class, and textbooks and many other resources use pictures to still explain subjects. Thanks to the evolution of the camera, we are able to do so much more than we ever could. The camera is one of the most important inventions in history and has forever changed the way that we live. We learned a lot doing this project and we hope you did too. Thanks for watching.